Napier, author of Profit First for Tradies and the founder of Profit First for Tradies. What I'm going to talk about today is obviously Profit First and I do have a checklist with the um, steps you need to make sure that you do when working with a certified Profit First professional. So a certified Profit First professional is somebody who has been through the intensive training to become certified and then also has to make a level of training in Profit First and be using it in their own business and obviously be using it in clients business and the reason why it's important to work with a certified Profit First professional is because you want to work with somebody who has not only just read the book which is great but there are so many different um, adjustments I guess you could say that we make to profit first to make sure that it's specialized for you and your business and you need to work with somebody who has experience and the training and the support to be able to do that. So what I'm seeing at the moment with my trades based businesses is, is there are three main frustrations that people have. So at the moment for the most part there is plenty of work around and for many people there is actually too much work around and if we were talking about this at any other time um, it would be something that you'd be envious of and that you would want plenty of work. But unfortunately, because of shortages such as getting staff, maintaining staff and materials, it's making that issue even worse. And the third thing is you've got plenty of work, but you've got no money in the bank. And this is something that I hear from every single person I'm talking to at the moment. They're flat out working their butts off, but they've got no cash in the bank still. And my question to that is always, what would happen when you don't have as much work as you have today. If you're flat out and you've still got no cash in the bank, what's gonna happen when we take a bit of a dive? Now, everything goes up, everything goes down and everything will go back up again, absolutely. Everything runs in cycles. And now is the perfect opportunity to make sure that you're making the most of the upside and setting up your financial systems and setting up profit first in your business so that when things take a little bit of a slow, you know, go into a bit of a slow phase, that you're ready and able to still have cash in the bank, to still pay yourself a wage and to still be profitable, irrelevant of the workload. So what I would love to do is just explain a little bit about how you can make the most of the workload that you have at the moment, how you can have a steady cash flow of income coming in and how you can actually keep the cash in your bank um, rather than it going out left, right and center or rather than it being uh, in a whole bunch of invoices owed to you. So there's three uh, main steps that I would suggest here. So the first one is if you haven't already, read or listen to Profit First for Tradies. Um, that will give you a really good overview of what Profit First is for those who don't know and it will step you through um, the different steps to set up Profit First in your business. Now when I wrote that book, I wrote that book to be a workbook that you can just follow it and implement Profit First yourself. So I really highlight and encourage you to take um, to jump in and get the free resources. If you're not already part of my Profit First for Tradies Facebook group, please jump in there because you have an opportunity to ask me questions as well. The second thing I would say is to implement Profit First in your business. Now, we don't want to half ass it. We want to implement it in a way that is going to be useful for your business and it's going to make an actual difference to your business. I see and speak to a lot of clients who have opened some bank accounts or they've kind of done some percentages or they've done it for two weeks and then stopped for a week and then they do it again and then they stop and they do it again. It's really about consistency. So setting it up like anything, whether we're talking about our health um, or even our work, when we're consistently doing something, it becomes easier, it becomes simpler and it becomes more effective. And that's what we want for you from Profit First. So what I would suggest is after you've read the book or listened to the book is set up your bank accounts. Have a look at how many bank accounts you've got at the moment and set up the um, foundational bank accounts that I suggest in the book. Um, now they are the the starting point and when you work with a certified Profit First professional they will get to know your business better and they will um, adapt and tweak those bank accounts so it works best for yourselves.
The third thing I see is that people are listening or reading to the book, but then they don't do anything. And then they come back to me, you know, 12, 18 months later. And the, the biggest comment is always, I wish I did this sooner. Um, so I really, really encourage you to take action, even if it is just reaching out to me for a chat to see if Profit First is suitable for you or not. The other thing I want to suggest that you do is to start implementing Profit First. As I said, even if it's just in a little step, open some bank accounts could be the first step. Um, do your percentages, your instant assessment that steps you through in the book. Work out what your percentages are going to be. Um, work out what's not working in your business. Ask yourself the question, what's not working? Now that list may be a really long list and that is perfectly okay, but at least getting it out of your head and down on paper when you do work with a certified profit first professional we will be able to use that as a great starting point um, so that would be super super useful so if you would like my checklist that um, steps you through what you need to make sure the person has when you're working with a certified profit first professional to implement profit first in your business then just post checklist below and we will get that to you if you would like to start having a bit of a chat with me about is profit first for me or not? How can it help me? I've set up some bank accounts, but I'm stuck. I've done the instant assessment, but I'm not sure if those percentages are correct. Um, or any of those questions you might have about profit first, then comment chat below and we'll send you the link and we'll be able to chat about what your next steps are. As I highly recommend that you take just one little step today. If nothing else, just get the checklist or let's chat. Have a great day.